know what it is? It's a Heim, a post-conjunction creature, very rare and very dangerous. It latches on to men who commit vile deeds. It feeds on their pain for years, fueling their guilty conscience. In the end, Heims force their victims to mutilate themselves. Sounds unpleasant. Any way to defeat it? Hmm. Two methods that work. In theory. They say a Heim can be tricked. You have to pretend to do something horrible. Then it'll move on to you as its new victim. When it realizes it's been tricked, it'll be forced to leave. Great. Let's try it. Don't know anyone who's pulled it off. Well, maybe no one's thought of a trick that was good enough. What's this other way? Witcher's bestiaries say you have to spend a night in the Heim's lair with the affected individual. The haunted house, you mean? It's hardly cozy, but... I wager you slept in worse conditions. It's not about sleeping. You've got to draw the Heim out. It has to emerge from the shadows, show itself. Can't hurt it otherwise. And it's sure to give as good as it gets. You've seen Udelric. It won't be an easy fight. I know you're doubtful. But we should at least try to find a way to trick the Heim. Might not be as simple as it seems. Besides, neither method's perfect. What do you mean? The Heim's a demon, and demons are notoriously hard to fool. Plus, the trickster can't know it's a trick. What? The Heim attacks those who have a guilty conscience, truly believe they committed a foul deed. The Heim strengthens their regret and feeds on it. Meaning, if the new host doesn't feel true sorrow, the Heim will sense that. Yes. So, for this to work, if either of us has an idea, we can't tell the other one about it. Exactly. Hmm. And what about the other method? Udelric might not survive an entire night in the Heim's lair. You think the Heim... Would it try to kill Udelric? No, that would mean losing its host. But Udelric could just... expire. He's weak, and the house will summon painful memories. Whereas to the Heim, that'll be an opportunity. The more pain the Heim causes Udelric, the stronger it'll grow. And the more dangerous it will be to you. Both methods seem risky, but I still think we should try the trick. Don't know that I'm convinced. Just please don't tell me you have to consult Yennefer on such things as well. If we fail to think of anything, we can always try the Witcher's way. What is it with you and Yennefer? Mentioned her several times already. Nothing. I've just noticed that you're often of one mind. Saying I'm henpecked. Not that you're especially different. Seems to happen to all men. Take a rowdy Skelliger, a brave knight or a tough witcher. You all end up wrapped around some woman's finger. What can I say? So, shall we try trekking it first? Yeah, let's. Good decision. Haunted house, the Heim's lair. Only place where anything like this could work. After you, then. No reason to delay. Siri. No, it's impossible. Damn it. Looking to discourage me? Good. Means you're scared.
shattered. Udelrich must have been scared of seeing the creature just behind him. An old cradle. Must have belonged to Udelrich or Aki. Geralt, come! Think I've got an idea! Anything? Yes, I have a plan. One that just might work. Can I get any details? You've got to wait for me here. I won't be long. Uh, anything else? Said yourself, you can't know the details. So no, nothing else. You simply got to trust me. Hope you know what you're doing. So do I. So, can we start? I'm ready. All right, I'll be back soon. In the meantime, get a fire going in the oven. Over there! She's running to the old house! Grab her! Take him. You must put him in the oven. Trust me. Take care not to hurt the child. Give me the faith. In the oven. Throw him in the oven. The Witcher committed no crime. You'll find neither despair nor guilt here. Only shock and relief. You've been tricked. You must go. It's over. Over? We tricked the Heim. It thought I'd killed your child, abandoned you to haunt me, feed on my conscience. But when it saw the babe was whole, unharmed, it had to go. You're free, Jarl. Free? The Heim's gone. So are the voices that tortured you. Let's get out of here. What's happening? My head's spinning. I'm spinning in a maelstrom. Geralt, you said it was over. That's just fatigue. In time, his mind will return to normal. What? What will I do now? You'll be fine. Key is to not give in to self-pity. I feel as if someone's torn something from me. That's normal. The Heim was a parasite. Bonds between parasites and hosts can be strong. That's why you feel empty now. Give it a few days, weeks, 
You'll be fine. Thank you. I think. Farewell. I'll go with him. He seems confused. Good idea. Then what? What are your plans? I'll stay a few days, make sure he's healthy. And you? Gonna stay on speaker, Rog? Don't know yet. Gotta gather my thoughts. I'm sure Yennefer must be grown impatient. Thought we already discussed that. We did. Farewell, Witcher. Favorable winds and following seas to you. To you too. So long. Swords, but I prefer me trusty axe. Damn the dogs, you don't look like one to haggle. Show me what you got and we'll see. Don't know that I'm gonna buy anything, but I sure wouldn't mind a few rounds of Gwent.
fighting them, look down these commas struck them, then we Hand gotta drag their corpses out of the... The blood of kings. Adventure seeker. He loves me. He loves me not. He loves me. He loves me. To have strength to the same like that. Greetings, welcome. Heard Yalmar came here to gather men for his expedition. Aye, he did. Such spirit. Stormed in, swept the bowls off the table, jumped atop of it and cried, I'm sailing off to seek glory. Who's with me? Who wants to cut off that bloody giant's head? Guess that was enough to recruit a longboat full of men. Ah, they carried him out in their shoulders, yelling all the while, We'll win back the forge, string that giant up by his gizzards. Should have seen it, Witcher. Brought tears to my eyes. They wanted to take back a forge? What's that about? Never heard the Unvickers forge the best armor in these isles. Their swordsmiths are nothing to sneeze at either. Because we made our blades like the dwarves forge the sails. Soft layered core fitted with a hard steel coating. How do you know? That's a clan Todorok secret. Got some friends who are dwarves. Perhaps you do. But the ore from the mines of Undvik, why not even... Well, no one's got it. That's that. Yalmar must have had a plan. Tell me about it. Plans? Ha! <laughs> they didn't even know where to look for this giant. As I recall, Viggy wanted to cross a frozen lake and scale the mountains. They say the giant came from there, awoken by the frost that gripped the land around the tower. To the harsh winter. Suited that man-eater perfectly. It can only get worse. Even the gods... Another one don't believe Ragnarok is nigh. You'll see. All of yous. Yalmar seems popular around here. He is cracks. So. Clever lad. Put together a fine crew. Hardy drinkers and warriors both. By the times I've had to piece together tables and benches after hosting them. The Unvik lads he took on. No spring minnows either. In fact, was a clan Tordrach man gave Yalmar the idea for the expedition. The shipwright, uh, what's his name? Viggy? That's him. Hope to earn a new by name, the Fearless. Till now they'd call him the Loon. So long. Glad to be of service. If you need to know more about Undvik or the Giant, ask Axel. Or that one over there, or enter. What do you want? I'm looking for people from Unvik. They're dead. See now, I heard many survived. Stubborn, get your... What do you want to know? You there when the giant attacked? Aye, I was. One of the Jarl's personal guards. Uh, I failed him. Led no credence to what the priestesses said. That we'd be punished for robbing the earth of iron. Forging it into blades that men kill one another with, that Freya would punish us. Perhaps they spoke the truth. 
Jarl of Undvik. Tell me about his death. Jarl Harald the Houndsnout. His whole crew died that night. Wilmar, Wilfred, and Wilhelm. I reached them too late. Saw the giant dash Wilmar against a rock. He fell right beside me. All his bones broke, wriggling like a salmon on the sand. Harold was dead by then. What? No, Jarl fought like a bear. Slicing and dodging and hollering, then slicing again. Couldn't save himself, though. How did you manage to survive? First I heard the giant growl to those flying sirens. Damn me if he weren't giving them orders. Under stress, men see all kinds of things. I know what I saw. Rushed to help the Jarl, but one of the cunts sunk her talons in me, lifting me up. Tried to take me to their nest, picked me apart, I reckon. But I broke loose of her grip, plummeted from quite a height, crashed hard, couldn't stand. Last thing I saw, swarm of sirens swooping down on the Jarl, thrashing round him. He yipped, he yelped, he screamed, he hollered. Then silence. The men escorting the women and the children to the ships took my unconscious flesh away and brought me to Ard Skellig. I should go. Yeah. Looking for men from Hundvik. Yavor's from the Isle, and I once cut those waters with nary a rest. Trace you the shoreline in my sleep. Uh, a lovely excursion, if not for the bloody sirens. I'm the one to ask. Be your excellent Haderog. He's over there. What can a bloke from Art Skellig know about Hundvik? Heard you trilling a different tune when Yalmar was gathering his crew. Your love for the Ancrete fade that quick. Ah, that doesn't mind, Dan Dyer. You mentioned sirens. Many on Undvik? So, so many. More on the other as. Bollocks. Once they attacked Lars and me when we were fishing, before we could drive him off, they pulled Lars in the water and scratched me up so bad that... Boy! Drive away the sirens? How's that work? Ha! Plain to see you're no islander. With a horn wall's horn. One toot, and they plow and scurry off so quick the waves rock your boat. Yavar's from there, or so he claims. And you seem to know these waters. Why didn't you sail with Yalmar? Because that kind of expedition needs a true leader. And a whelp looking to collect bumps on his skull can only be its doom. Once I... You'd rather sit in your arse nose in the air, you Zarakinian princess. Brave lad comes along. You sail with him. I'd have sailed with Yalmar if only those seahorse hadn't banjacked my knee. Would have sailed instead of sharing a table with a grumpy barnacle like you. You'd sail with anyone who'd let you aboard. Crack's daughter included. Need to get to Undvik. Ugh, another thrill seeker. Well then, listen close. Lest you end in a watery grave. Sail out of port and head southwest. Watch for rocks protruding like pricks out of the water. You'll have to do some tricky tacking to get past them. Some of them's shorter, just below the surface, so careful not to scrape right over them. Big breach your hull, you're done for, cause just a few minutes in that icy water makes a corpse. One time I remember... Stick to the point. Oh, oh fine. Watch for the currents, cause they can drag you off course, dash against the rocks even. With a bit of luck, you'll land on the same beach where Jalmar landed. Nice talking to you. By the time I was on my way. So long. Fair winds to you. Wind blew you in again, eh? 
nice talking to you. By the time I was on my way, so long. Fair winds to you. Thank you. 